everybody. I'm doing a follow-up session for Christine. If you're interested in checking out her previous session, please check the description. I'm going to put a link there. So I have some awesome updates and goals for today's session. I'm going to go ahead and read these and get started. Okay. Hi, Abby. Thank you for the amazing first session where you worked on my ego, its connection to my heart and my trust issues. I decided to continue on this topic right away, please. I was totally wiped out right after you completed my session. My energetic and physical heart space feels somewhat unfinished and jumpy, for a lack of a better word. It does make a lot of sense that my ego is holding on for dear life, trying to drive the bus. And it is then um, wondering why this is so exhausting and feels like it has to do it all alone. I must admit, I can't blame it that it's suspicious and throwing a tantrum. I have, in fact, overridden ego several times to follow my heart and pursue my passion in life, which is being a scientist. Just recently, I declined a job offer that promised safety. This alone required working through a lot of fear. I took the risk to stay in my current job because it is my, because it is my absolute dream, even though its existence still depends on getting grant money. Unfortunately, this is currently almost blowing up. I learned about it the day before our first session. I'm wondering if this is my big lesson and trust that Shadow Man is trying to teach me. I know that the universe has helped me big time, bringing me this perfect job, but so much trouble to make it permanent. Hmm. Yeah. I hope I can learn the lesson here and transform the challenges into an easier flow. Any help and more insights are highly appreciated. This is such a fascinating update. So you, you have a job offer that gives you safety, security, because it is a permanent job. Um, you're choosing to explore the path of the scientist who has to depend on grants in order to have the work to do. And your, your following through with brings your heart um, the joy, which is to be a scientist. And this is all kind of happening right now as you're doing these sessions. I mean, this is, bi this is a big deal. Anything that has to do with work, it, it's a big deal. Because work is, it defines your life. It defines your livelihood. It defines your path and where you're going next. Um, it's you putting your soul into the physical wor world through an action through giving back, through giving a part of who you are. I mean, this is big deal stuff. This is heart stuff. And it can be ego stuff too. So you choosing to um, take the more rocky path and um, to be the scientist that you, you absolutely want to be, but knowing there's risks because you need the grant money, right? I mean, this is huge. This is all heart and ego stuff. All right, so we're going to continue where we left off. But let's let's see if there's some wisdom we can access about this. <sighs> Thank you very much for everything you've shared here, Christine. And thank you for being open to sharing as well. Okay, I'm going to relax and get started now. All right. <sighs> Let's see how your third eye, your heart, let's see how your energy field looks. Okay. It's a... Uh, there's something going on here, which I can see and I can feel it. Just take takes me a minute before I can talk about it. I see a really big circle, like a disc, okay? And the disc is up here. I'm also kind of on the rim of this disc and it's slowly turning. Very, very slowly turning disc. It's enormous. It's massive. Um... You could even say it's the size of planet Earth in a way. Maybe it's the size of the universe. I mean, it's it's massive. And I see a man standing here, and he has a, a white lab coat, like a scientist type. And we are looking at this object, and we are looking at this 
turn and I also feel like I'm part of the rim of this. I'm part of the rim. So I'm turning with it ever so slowly, but I am going. Um, I'm on this. Um, in a way, it's like the earth ha is... Um, Okay, why can't I think of it right now? But you know how the planets, they have this like invisible line and they're just like, that's their path. So the planet is, uh, planets are always rotating around the sun. That's their path, you know? <laughs> and so we have this like uh, the rim of this, this disc, this circle, and we're on the path, okay? <laughs> and the path is slowly going around, okay? It's slowly going around. And then I see this man standing here. We're looking at this. And it, this feels huge. This feels enormous. Everything is going so slow. I feel like it's going slower than it should. I feel a lot of dense energy. I'm actually, it's kind of developing on, in my nose and on my cheeks. And back behind my head, above my head, the back side of my body. I think your ego is okay with your choice, by the way. I think it's okay that you made this choice. And I think it's time to really just embrace the choice that you've made and start moving forward with it. Don't look back kind of thing. You don't need to look back. The decision's been made. Because the earth doesn't stop for anybody. It just keeps turning and it keeps going around the sun. It doesn't stop for anybody. And we may be able to control the flow of water. We can build a dam, right? Um, but the water will not stop. It's, it's always, um, it always has a pull. It has a drive. Even if the dam is there, the water is still up against this dam forever. It will always be up against it until the water um, erodes the dam. You know, the whole world, the landscape of our planet, everything is constantly changing, always, even if it's a very slow change. It is always in motion. <sighs> okay. As I talk about this, I will say the mind, there is um, a lot of energy build up in here and it's sort of, in, it's more towards the back of the mind. There's pressure on the third eye. There's pressure build up. Um, in, in regards to the heart, there's pressure build up regards to the throat. <sighs> okay, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to go into your root chakra because I, I feel strongly that right now we need to experience what it is to be grounded in your choice. Be grounded in... And that's safety and security, okay? Because when you make a choice, even if it's an unstable, like, what, well, what could happen with this choice? I might not get the funding. I might not be able to, you know, it, there's something where you have to choose. You made the choice and to feel safe in the choice that you've made. And something about being grounded is going to help with this. But I feel like you need to get grounded anyway. So I'm, there's aspects of me that are, are with this massive disc. There's aspects of me watching this. It's like, um, it's, it's life is in motion in a really big way. No matter how fast or how slow it's moving, it's big and it's always in motion. There's nothing that you can do to stop that. This feeling, I'm, I'm moving, I'm like really supportive of whatever this buildup, energy buildup is. It's very dense, it's heavy, um, it's a lot. <laughs> so I'm hanging out with this dense energy buildup and it's sort of like coming from above down. Um, it's like crunching down, like 
like neck crunching down like it's very dense it's very heavy um coming down the back side of the body like it's a lot it's a lot how did it all build up like this i don't know so i'm having an aspect of me continue to just um what i like to do when the energy is like this um at me you and me we're hanging out we're experiencing the energy together and i say let's let's embrace this like let's just feel it let's let it in let's feel it like let's not create any resistance because if we create resistance we actually delay the processing of that and then it can uh, and build up um we can um work our life around delaying facing things you know and so all we're doing is just trying to build the dam to stop the flow of water when really we just need to let things flow just just let the universe turn let the world turn let the water flow like there's something about this message in your energy field and what i'm supposed to tell you um so it's like we're gonna feel this we're gonna let this dense Ne like neck cracking dense energy like it's coming on down and it's flowing down the back um it's very thick it's not like water okay it's like very very heavy and thick energy so we're just we're i'm just here with you and it's like we're gonna embrace it we're just gonna embrace it and when we embrace it we have no fear of it we have no insecurity you become lighter and now the energy moves through you without attaching to you because you're not attached to it Sometimes we get these energy buildups. How did they get there? Why are they there? Um, I, we don't always know all the answers. I don't always know all the answers. This I don't even get told what the answers are to everything. Um, so we don't need to know the answer because I can feel it. And I can feel it in itself. And I know when I feel it, we're just going to embrace it. We're going to feel it. And we're not going to feel afraid of it because there isn't anything to be afraid of. Literally, there's literally nothing to be afraid of. So we're going to just let it happen. We're just going to let it happen. So there's this me with you and we're just letting this dense energy happen. And the more we let it happen, the more it is welcome to come out, come on down, um, be transformed. We get lighter. We have no attachment to it. So we're still working through this in um, an energy space of time, okay? <laughs> so I'm going to let that happen. So this stuff, the things are turning. We're processing this energy way. We're going to let all that stuff happen. I'm going to go into your root chakra, okay? Again, it keeps coming back to me that you should be so ridiculously proud of yourself for the choice that you've made to, to do what brings the light and what inspires the light within you. Even, let's just say, let's say you, you've got three good months here and something happens and the grant money doesn't come in. I always see life as a stepping stone. So you're choosing to follow your heart, which is choosing the stepping stones of love. No matter what stepping stones you choose, there's always going to be learning on the path. No matter what, even if you took the permanent safe job, there's going to be challenges with that too. So no matter what direction you choose, whether it's I'm going to make the safe choice or I'm going to take um, the, the potentially not safe choice, but it, it's something that I love. Um, so you're you're choosing the stepping stones that are vibrationally um, paralleling the spirit of yourself, and what you're telling the universe that I I want to be, and I want to work, and I want um, a life and reflection of what brings um, light and love into my heart and what I do in this world. Like so, you're sending the vibes to the universe that I'm going to make the harder choice, but the one that brings more light to me and how I'm interacting with this planet. That is the best stepping stone you could ever choose. So you should feel very secure making that type of choice. Now, um, there's always going to be challenges no matter what choice you make, okay? Um, you have a right to feel safe no matter what happens because you're being guided to the next stepping stone and the next stepping stone and the next stepping stone. And that's life, okay? And we, we all want consistency. We all want something we can count on Monday through Sunday, you know, for the rest of our life. But that's not the world that we live in that's constantly changing as fast as it's changing. And um, we have to, to be like water and we have to just continue to flow. Now, sometimes life builds a dam. We're still flowing into that dam. We never stopped flowing. We're just... Um, 
we're just circulating in new ways and new experiences until change happens. And now we're, oh my gosh, there's a waterfall here. We're going down, you know, and, but we're still flowing. The world is still turning. There's still the big circulation in the universe. Everything is in the flow. And again, I feel very um, compelled to tell you to um, feel secure and safe in the decision that you made because the stepping stone you're choosing is one that is paralleling love and and what brings the spirit um out of you and into this world you know that's good <laughs> that's very good so i'm gonna go into your root now as i say that i already i feel a lot of this density it's it's safe it's okay it's 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 actually clearing out quicker than i expected um it's still flowing but it's um we're working through it quite well. Okay, now I can pay attention, swear to God, I'm gonna go into your root now. Ah, I can see why I'm having a, it's almost like a, I'm going into your root. When I start going into your root, I get I come back up here to what all this energy that's coming down from above, and it's like like this neck breaking <laughs> heaviness. Um, but it's okay, it's fine. Just bring it. Let's let's process this. Let's digest this. Let's transform this because it's energy. Energy can be transformed. Ice can turn into water. You know, everything can be transformed. So <laughs> so I I'm going back in your root. Ah, why am I back here? Going in your root. Ah, why am I back here again? Why can't I just go into your root? Are you inspiring me to not go into your root? Is there some sort of avoidance thing going on here? Um, <laughs> so I'm just, I'm just noticing this. Okay, swear to God, I'm going into your root now. Am I gonna get forced to go back to your head? Okay, I'm going into your root. Let's see what happens. Oh. It's almost okay. What does this mean? <sighs> okay, this is funny, okay? I still don't know what this means. Um, but I keep seeing an image of a, of a girl. Um, it's like a classic scenario. Um, and she has a big chest, okay? Um, and she's talking to this guy and she, she keeps looking. She's like, up here? Up here? Hello, I'm talking to you. Can you look into my eyes, please, and not look at my chest? Up here, please look up here. <laughs> and, and I'm in your root. There must be some root and sacral chakra connections going on because because your your energy feels like, um, up here, please. Uh, up here, please. Up here, please. Up here. <laughs> Come back to eye level. Come back to the head region. Let's work on the dense energy. Um, so is there unresolved stuff going on? I don't know, but um, there's a there's a comfort level and the comfort level is wanting me to kind of not hang out in the root, which I'm too close to the sacral. It's kind of there's some sensitivities going on here. So um, that's kind of what this is for right now. <laughs> it says I tell your roots has nothing to do with and, and I'm telling your sacral because they seem to have an inner linking this is very common um, where root will overcompensate for sacral or sacral will overcompensate for root and they're, there's like their energies are close close together um, so they can um, kind of get wound up with, within and around each other. So I, I want root to feel just like root and sacral to feel like sacral and that they have their own energy identities and then they can be friends, you know, they can be friends now. Um, not when they're kind of mashed into each other. And so I'm telling root, I'm telling sacral that, um, you know, root, your role here is to be tuned into um, feeling safe, secure, grounded. Um, strong in your stance and your decision making. You know, sacral, you're all about, you know, the pleasures in life, whether that's sexual pleasures, but it, it's not, it's more than sexual pleasures. It's going out and ha having coffee with your friends or getting breakfast with family or um, it's the things that you love, choosing to be a scientist over choosing to um, secure a job. Like, um, so sacral is about um, how you feel beautiful how you feel beautiful in life, um, self-love, self-worth, intimacy, and relationships. Um, sacral is a pretty unique place. 
Wow, this is really me just talking to Root and Sacral right now. The whatever this is like the it is turned on full blast. Like I, the, this is speeding up here. This dense energy is is thicker, heavier, more. Um, it's coming down faster than it was. Um, so good though. You have so the, what's cool about this is with all this energy coming out, um, you're 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 ready to be a new person. You're ready for brand new things. Okay. I'm gonna ask Sacral if it's okay for me to just talk to Root right now. And Root, is it okay for me to just talk to you without Sacral? Are you okay with that? <sighs> ah. Ego third eye. I'm going to be speaking to Root, and you're welcome to watch. You're welcome to observe. You're welcome um, to, I mean, you're part of this family of chakras. You matter too. But this is just time for Root right now. Just Root, okay? Why are you so shy? Like, Rue is like, and now we're, I mean, the fact that Rue is shy tells me that there's so many interconnected relationships with other chakras that are creating a massive uh, imbalance with your root. Because your root being shy, it tells me there's unresolved between throat and root, okay? So your root is like, like really shy, like really shy. That's not Root's true self or true personality. It's kind of like intertwined with throat. Um, I'm going to let throat go back to throat. Any other chakras, I'm just like sac sacral, sacral, solar plexus, heart. Like I'm letting, I'm, anything that has remnants of other chakras, it's it, like Root is just Root now. We're just looking at Root now. I'm sending those ties back, okay? <sighs> Weird. Again. I'm going into root again. I'm going into root again. I'm going into root again. Like, um, I go into root and it's like avoidance, avoid, 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 avoid. I'm like, no, throat. Like, I, I find myself in another chakra. Like, I'm going into root and I find myself now I'm in the throat. I found myself now I'm in the third eye. I found myself, now I'm supposed to be looking at this heavy energy. Why is there so much avoidance here? Root, root, just root. It doesn't understand. It's 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 almost like I have to tell it its own purpose, its own identity. But it is an energy body. It just simply needs a vibrational reminder of itself, of its identity. So I don't have to explain anything. It's not like it's going to take years. It literally it just needs a reminder so it can awaken to its role again of being grounded and you could sort of live your life in rotation and doing something new so it would be hard to feel grounded because life is constantly unpredictable so it can be hard to feel grounded um just an example okay but you still can be grounded in every day like the choice to do this today the choice to do that today um, even if it's like life doesn't have a consistent foundation, I go, this is my house. This is where I've lived the last 20 years of my life. This is the job. I've been working my way up through this company for the last 20 years of my life. That is ultra grounded, okay? Um, the world today is like we're moving every five years or less. Like it's constant rotation, constant change. So root chakra can feel this, this it can feel kind of lost at times. Um, so I'm going to get you grounded in just in who you are. Grounded in, in being a scientist. Grounded in you choosing to heal today, okay? So we can feel strong in these choices, all right? 
We can feel like this is definitely what I'm doing right now. And nothing is going to knock me down because I know what I'm doing right now and I'm choosing to heal right now. <laughs> that is being ultra grounded. No matter what, I'm healing. That is one thing I know. <laughs> so that's an example, okay? We're going to be grounded and nobody's going to tell us anything because we know what we want. You know you want to be a scientist. Okay, that's it. You're going to do this. Nothing else. Grounded, okay? It's really good to be grounded. Still working on it. Still working on it. This is really good. You know what's interesting? This is another side. I'm still working on, on Rude as we're talking here. Um, did you think that, and do you think that us working on your ego is exactly what your ego wants? You know? Like, um, I need to work on my ego and my heart balance. Okay, I definitely hear you. Um, we all kind of do anyway, but um, yeah, I see it. I see what you, you're saying here, big time. But, by, but we need to work on root. <laughs> and, so, and so me trying to work on root, you wouldn't believe how much um, distraction there is. Like, like, no, no, no. It's like root, now I'm in heart. Root, now I'm in the mind. Root, now I'm in the throat. Why can't I just work on your root chakra? You see, me talking to you about it, I'm still working on your root chakra because I'm not, I'm, I'm grounded. I, I know your root chakra needs some support here. And your root chakra needs somebody who's grounded enough to know what's best for your root chakra so that everybody else can quiet down and just finally time for root chakra, okay? <laughs> Everything has a parallel. Everything has a parallel. And when I, when I say this, it makes me think of um, somebody who, who has time for everybody else but themselves. Um, or somebody who feels like, um, like, like a family of 10 children. And all the kids seem to get attention except one. Is that true? Well, it definitely feels like it in the root chakra. Like, <laughs> it's like all of the kids, all the other chakras get all the attention. But Root's fine. Root's here to help everybody. Um, but no, you're not actually helping everybody when you yourself aren't even yourself. You have to be yourself to actually be able to help everybody. See, me talking to you about all this is me talking to Root. It's helping to revitalize it. It's helping to um, bring it back to itself again. This is uh, the next thing I'm going to do because I'm going to go deeper into your root now. I'm creating a doorway and when I go through this doorway, I'm inside your root chakra. See how much avoidance there is that I even have to create a doorway to state I'm inside of it now. No more avoidance. I'm in your root chakra. What's it like in here? Well, I'll just start describing it. It's kind of like a really, like a muddy red color, muted, but dark. Um, it feels like clay. It feels like a kind of type of clay that is like a mud texture. It's not wet. Um, it's not dry by any means, so it's more wet than it is dry. It seems to kind of be along all the walls, so it's kind of a spherical space. It feels damp, um, like, um, like if I were to walk in here barefoot, I'm going to get dirty feet and there's a dampness to it and nothing is growing in here and it feels like, eh, it's just a, a 
packed, muddy, mud-packed space. Some of the vibrations that um, come back to me are that um, nothing is growing in here and it's too compact. It shouldn't be like this. It should be more open. It should be more made out of light. But it's okay. I'm going to do something to rattle the bones a little bit in here, which is I'm going to take a shovel and start digging, okay? And you scream. You scream instantaneously that this is hurting you. So I stop. And I see that I just, that's very thin layer of mud, mudish sand, really. <clears throat> and I've hit a body, an actual body down here. I've even, um, the shovel even went through the body itself. Like it was a blood curdling female scream in the background, like a horror movie moment. So I take my hand and then I touch the heart of this body. <sighs> what is this representative of? Like, <sighs> I mean, is it possible that this is representing um, how you stay grounded in life um, sometimes we work through our like this would be one quick way to anything that feels vulnerable we'll just quickly bury it in the root and move on that would be a very quick way to bounce back but it's not resolving the initial problem I feel like this body is an unresolved um, memory, unresolved emotion, unresolved. And no wonder your other chakras are like, no, 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 don't go into root, don't go into root. Don't find the bodies in there, don't find the buried bodies. <laughs> don't even talk about what this is about. Come look at some other energy space. Now that I'm here and now that this has been exposed, this um, energy space is actually becoming softer. And then more of a liquid. And that still isn't vibrationally balanced, but we're, we're opening this up. By exposing some vulnerability, energy vulnerability in here, we're, we're shifting the energy flow, which is actually opening things up. No matter how it's reacting, it is opening things up. Sometimes we just need to look at the stuff we buried and look at it in order to open things up, okay? And I feel that helping root is actually helping your ego and helping heart and helping all your other chakras. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take what we've discovered here um, and I'm going to place it into like the womb of Mother Earth kind of thing. But I'm just like placing it into the earth um, where it feels surrounded by um, very loving, creative energies. Um, the divine Mother Father Earth, okay? Because we usually think of it as mother earth but it can be father earth too and it's important to see it as mother father earth but i understand why we call it mother earth right it's like the woman can't create without the man and the man has a important role too it's mother father earth and um, I'm helping to just seed your root here into Mother Father Earth energy, into the Earth energies. To be nurtured and healed and supported and root, it's okay. It's okay to be you. It's okay to share what you've been through. It's okay for this stuff to come out of the woodwork now so we can take a look at it and, and heal it, move on from it. 
This is the most loved and nurtured your root has felt in a long time. I don't know what that's saying about what you've been through in your life or how your life has felt for you, um, but your root has definitely lacked nurture for a while, okay? This um, root seeded into Mother Father Earth energy um, is actually, this feels a lot more, again, where it was starting to like the waterworks were turned on heavy and it was getting even more dense and it was flowing faster is actually um, transmuting. Just it's, it's actually really easy. It's, it's a lot easier to work through this energy. It's just sort of happening all, in, all on its own and I don't really even feel it flowing down anymore. Feels a lot better. You're going to notice this. I don't know that this session is going to make you feel tired per se, but I think you'll feel it and and you may feel more may may feel emotional. I feel it's it's activating your sacral chakra too because it's healing the root which was kind of intertwined with your sacral. So your sacral is experiencing a new um breath of fresh air in its own right. And I can feel vibrations going on in the lower chakras, sacral and root particularly. Um, but whatever this energy flow and releases, it might help you feel lighter. Because um, that's what that feels like to me. And it feels clearer. I feel just clearer in the mind and more composed, more collected in spirit and emotion and like personality. Just more collected in myself. That's what your energy field feels like right now. All right. Thank you so much, Christine, for this experience. Mm. I'm just disconnecting from your energy field here. For those of you who are interested in exploring a psychic session with me, please visit me at my website at abbynormalswisdomquest.com. I have two other YouTube channels, so you can check me out at Abby Normal and Zodiac Energy Readings. I'm also on Patreon at patreon.com slash abbynormalswisdomquest. All right. Thank you all so much uh, for watching. Have a great rest of your day.